All right, everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, I've bought three car accessories from Amazon that I will be fitting to my BMW 1 Series. Now, these three mods are universal. Any car can, can put these mods on, and you'll see what they are very, very shortly. Then, the mods I wanted to try out, which I thought were a bit of a myth, and some mods actually could be pretty useful in, in my car that I might use on a day-to-day -day basis. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, all these mods are interior mods, not at, not exterior, uh, which is why they're, they're universal. Um, and, yeah, so without further ado, let's get inside the car and let's start putting these mods on and see what they're like. Okay, so let's jump on in. Okay, so I've got three car accessories, right? As you can see, I've got one big one here, one medium-sized one, and I've got down the back here... A little one as well. Now this one took like a month to come, so I've actually I know what this is and I know what the big one is, but I've actually forgotten what this one is. So we're gonna start with this little medium one here. Okay, so the first car accessory, I'm gonna try and open it one hand here. It shouldn't be too difficult, but let's see what this is. Okay, I remember what it is now. I remember what this is now. Alright. This is, if you cannot tell, which you probably can't, let me get out of this bag. Okay, so the first car accessory is a cup holder phone stand now in my car there's nowhere i don't have like a, a phone holder that you put in your window or whatever and i always put my phone so my phone lives in this cup holder right here it always does and i was scrolling through amazon and then i saw this which is supposedly meant to i'll put that one in there this one is supposedly meant to sit in here and you attach the extra bit that it comes with and you slot your phone there and i thought that would be a lot more useful than just having it sit on the cup holder like that so there is a way that you can press a button or twist it okay so you twist that and it extends these little arms here so i'll put it in uh, well that is actually doing it and now that is actually very securely in there okay nice just a bit more so it's nice and tight okay and then we attach the, the next phone hold a bit on top of that okay so this is the little phone holder bit and i'm guessing it goes on like that uh and then that goes like oh oh what the hell it extends so i can have it up here that would be annoying though i think actually what i'm meant to do is attach this before i put it in there because now it's a pain hold on okay so i've done this and put it in and it is very very sturdy so you got basically this goes in here you twist this so it stays in so i won't be able to pull it out and then you have this which you can move around like this uh, and tighten that so it moves around less so it's more sturdy around the back and there's another little twisty thing at the bottom here that you twist which i've done up very tight and that basically means you can adjust the height of it as well so this is around the medium height now let me put my phone in it and see if it fits okay so you can see now i've got the phone in it fits all fine and the good thing is that these side bits they're not pressing on like, the side volume buttons or the on and off button here it's it's just below which is perfect so it means it's not going to be like bugging out or anything but yeah this is so good because usually i just put my phone in there anyway so i thought may as well use it and then it's more i know it's, it's just a lot better it being here than than wobbling around it's like it's not going to get as damaged in this you know and if i have the sat nav on or whatever it's going to be a lot easier to to read it and see it instead of it being down in there so uh yeah this is the first mod and uh i will actually be using this on this car because that is insanely useful obviously it depends this this mod depends where your cup holders are mine are just perfectly placed for it if your cup holders are like in the center here maybe not as useful for you but if your cup holder is in a useful place and this this appeals to you then uh yeah this is actually a very useful mod i will also be putting all the links to these mods down below so if you want to have a look buy them yourself then by all means i think all these mods put together cost me like 35 quid so yeah without further ado let's move on to the next mod can you even call these mods they're more just like these are not, I don't know, these are not really mods, they're just car accessories. Let's move on to the next car accessory. It's not really a mod. Okay, so the next mod that I'm going to be doing is going to be this big, this big old box right here. Uh, for this one, I'm actually, to unbox it, I think I'm going to step outside the car, because it'll be a pain to unbox in here. So, uh, yeah, let me quickly, let me quickly hop out. Okay, so I've got the big box out here, and I'm going to open it. Because this is so big that opening it inside will be a pain. Alright, box is open, so let's get it out, here it is lad. Right, here is the next mod, mod I'm, I'm going to stop calling these mod of gauge, they're definitely not mod, these are accessories, this is the next accessory, as you can see it's like a back thing that you put on your, I see you put it on office chairs, but then I, I saw it was on car accessories and it was on a car chair, so I was like, car seat, so I was like, okay, let me buy it and just uh, 
see if this thing is comfy or not because these things don't look comfy at all and look incredibly uncomfortable like let me put this on the seat real quick okay so you can see <laughs> what the hell is this you can see it's on uh on the the chair and looks i'm sorry but how bent has your back got to be to, to sit on that like wow that is something else let me quickly let me get in and try this all right sitting on it now as you can uh as you can't see actually it is there i do it is there i promise it just feels like someone's got their arms stuck behind my back and it's like oh get off it's 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 not a comfy thing i'll tell you that look at it it's just it's so i don't know it's not nice i'll tell you that and if i was wearing a t-shirt it'd probably be digging into my back of all these like rubber bits that are on it like all them rubber bits there surely they just dig into your back yeah they're rock hard mate sorry but that is that can get in the bin mate see you later no one why would you oh this is a lot better i feel like i can actually sit down now like what that that accessory is well it's it's where it belongs really it's it's where it belongs really it's over there ne never to be sit you know what <sighs> right now that's been dealt with never to be seen again i mean goodbye uh let's move on to the next the next the last the last i'll keep going for modification accessory and uh i'm actually very excited for this one because i saw i've, saw it, I've seen it advertised uh on, on actually I got, I got this off another youtube channel i was looking for different ideas accessories it's quite hard to find good car accessories and then this came up now let me hop them let me hop this out the box yeah mate let me get this out the box and uh let me show you guys opening the box do you know what it is yet i'm actually interested to see if this works so i think this is basically hold on okay you can see why it took so long to come as you can see it's all chinese writing all over it so uh but it, as you can see at the bottom it says car fragrance now this is apparently a little thing that sits on your dash and it spins around with solar light and spins around in circles and there's apparently a car fragrance which makes your car smell nice so uh let's unbox it and see see what it smells like here is the box let's open this and see what's in oh this might be this might be the fragrance i don't know let me unbox this oh i've gone with the golden one you know there's a few different colors i could have gone with red black silver but i went with gold as you can see so right what do i do now i don't think there's is there any instructions no so you have to wing it okay what i'm gonna do first is open this to see what it is oh i can smell it it's definitely a it's actually quite a nice smell i think what we do with these or is it just one? Oh, that is so strong but it smells actually really nice so i think we put this this little fragrance circle in here i think i have no idea and then we then grab this which is the this is the solar bit and then we screw this in here i'm, pre I'm pretty sure i'm guessing all of this do we screw that in there or do we push it in well i think we just push it in like that okay and then there's film on the solar panel which i will take off Okay, there's the film that's been taken off. This has been pushed down. Right, and then we have a glass ball that sits in there. And then there's a sticker underneath, as you can see there, which you peel off and stick on your dashboard. And in the sun, this is apparently meant to, to spin or, or something. I already see a massive problem with this being in your car, but let's keep going with it. Let's persevere. Let me take this sticker off. Oh my God. Okay, I forgot there's a, there's a thing. Oh, it's it's down the side. As you guys can see, it has been stuck on there. Now that is meant to spin around or do something in the sun. If I give it a little, yeah, it needs to be on level ground. Oh, that is. Well, that, is, that was stuck. Wow. Would you look at that? That is, look at that go. I'm actually disappointed by that. I was hoping that would, that would actually work. Anyway, the fragrance smelled nice. I don't know, that is a very strange car accessory. On the video it worked, all right? I don't know why it's not working. 
like I say, every, every video we do, there's always something that doesn't work or something that goes wrong. And uh, yeah, so my advice is don't buy that and wait a month for it not to work. It's still not spinning, is it? Right. Anyway, uh, they, I'm pretty sure, they are the three car accessories. So we have one useful mod that I will use all the time, and that is this. Yes, look at this. This is actually great. And when, you know, if I want to skip a song or whatever, then obviously I can. Actually, I don't know if you're like, when I have the sat nav on, then I can. Um, that's the one thing with these cars, right? You have these buttons here to change the song, or if you set it up right, you can change it the R drive here, but there's no buttons on the steering, which is really annoying, so you have to always, like, it, it just takes a second for you to go off here, think about where you put, because if you, if you misplace your finger, then you're calling someone, and you don't want to do that, or you're ejecting a disc, and again, you don't want to do that, so it just takes a second for you to come off the light, it's annoying it's just not here. Let me know what you guys thought of these modifications, I actually thought the cup hold on was very good, and the other two not so much, and yeah, that is going to be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below, we are so, so, so close to a thousand subs, I think we're less than 40 off now, which is insane, I always appreciate the support across the video. I always appreciate the support across the videos, leaving likes, commenting down below. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today. And also my Instagram is down below as well. Go check that out, give me a follow. There's always photos of this thing going up on there. If you're interested in, in, my, uh, in my BMW 1 Series. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. We can lie.